Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. What's the current situation with Arch? Well, there's a mass exodus of employees, departing in droves akin to rodents abandoning a sinking vessel. Are they receiving more enticing job offers elsewhere, or is there a more ominous undertone at play? It's unclear whether any of you are currently in the job market, but word has it that Archwell is actively recruiting. So, if you possess the fortitude to endure Harry and Meghan's antics and endeavor to bolster their public image, then you might consider visiting their website and submitting your application. For what, you ask? Well, that's anyone's guess. It appears there are numerous vacancies available. As we're all aware, Archwell is the brand associated with Harry and Meghan. They oversee the Archwell Foundation, purportedly a charitable organization primarily benefiting themselves, though that's debatable. Additionally, there's Archwell Productions, responsible for endeavors such as the Harry and Meghan documentary series on Netflix. Not to mention Heart of Invictus, which unfortunately turned out to be a colossal failure. Megan's proposed animated series Pearl unfortunately faced cancellation even before entering production, depriving audiences of what could have been an extraordinary show. Recent reports suggest that Paramount might consider resurrecting it, though that seems doubtful. Moving on, there's Archwell Audio, responsible for the acclaimed podcast series Archetypes, which regrettably met its demise after just one season. And who can forget the derogatory term the Spotify chief used to describe Harry and Meghan? Effing grifters, if memory serves correctly. Anyway, there's a noticeable trend emerging at Archwell, prompting speculation as to the root cause. It appears Harry and Meghan struggle to retain their staff, leading to growing concerns. To shed light on the situation, we'll examine various articles to piece together the puzzle and uncover the truth. First up is an article from Eden Confidential titled New Blow to Harry and Meghan as TV Boss Quits Production Company Set Up by the Sussexes, featured in the Daily Mail. This departure marks the latest setback for Harry and Meghan, particularly concerning as they've been touting numerous exciting ventures in the pipeline. They certainly have a plethora of projects in the pipeline, and they're confident that audiences will be enthralled by what they have in store. While we might anticipate enjoying their offerings, it appears their staff may not share the same enthusiasm. Richard Eden harks back to Meghan's remarks on the red carpet during the LA event last November, emphasizing her assurance that she and Prince Harry had an array of exciting announcements forthcoming. Meghan expressed their intention to unveil projects that evoke more than just a positive reaction, they aim to stir emotions within people. With such an endorsement, it's hard not to be intrigued by what they have in the works. Projects that elicit an emotional response? It's truly tantalizing. We're left eagerly anticipating whether it'll be a film, another captivating TV series, or something entirely unexpected. The mystery adds to the anticipation, but one thing's for sure, whatever it is, it's bound to evoke a profound reaction. Richard Eden's poignant observation highlights a stark reality within their team, the strongest sentiment experienced by a key member was reportedly the desire to depart. Bravo, indeed, to Richard Eden for encapsulating the situation so succinctly. He informs us that Bennett Levine, the manager of R12 Productions, the company established by Harry and Meghan back in 2020, has opted to leave. This departure is noteworthy especially considering the lofty aspirations espoused by Archwell Productions, the entity created by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with the aim of producing programming that informs, elevates, and inspires. It's perplexing why anyone would want to leave such a company purportedly dedicated to inspiration, enlightenment, and empowerment. However, Richard Eden's report sheds light on the situation. Bennett Levine, who was elevated to the position of manager at Archwell in 2022, chose to part ways with the company this month. Notably, Levine had been appointed as coordinator of the business in 2021, a move that was celebrated by Omid Scobie, one of Harry and Meghan's most vocal supporters, as a testament to Archwell's vibrant growth and activity. Indeed, Omid Scobie has a distinctive way with words, much like his friend and boss, Meghan Markle. 
Their talent for stringing together an abundance of words without conveying much substance is reminiscent of expert chefs crafting intricate word salads. Regarding Levine's departure from Archwell, his confirmation of leaving was evident through a social media post announcing his new position at Cinetic Media, an American film financing and distribution company. Despite his public acknowledgement of the move, he refrained from providing specific reasons for his departure from Archwell. While Levine's departure may leave a void within the company, it's not difficult to surmise potential reasons behind his decision. According to a source cited by Richard Eden, the departure is undoubtedly a setback for the company. It's evident that if Harry and Meghan aim to realize the potential of Archwell Productions, they must prioritize fostering a positive work environment and treating their employees with the respect they deserve. It's understandable to harbor skepticism regarding the seemingly high turnover rate at Archwell Productions. Many speculate that employees aren't departing without valid reasons, and there's a prevailing sentiment that Meghan Markle may be a significant factor in this equation. While Prince Harry might present challenges as an employer, they likely differ from those attributed to Meghan Markle. Numerous allegations have surfaced regarding Meghan's purportedly abusive behavior towards her staff, and such claims aren't easily dismissed. The substantial turnover of staff within their household supports these allegations. It appears that Meghan operates with a sense of entitlement, asserting her authority without hesitation. She's accustomed to giving orders rather than receiving them, a dynamic that may have clashed with the expectations of her role within the royal family. It's evident that Meghan operates by her own set of rules, often flouting conventions when it suits her. Her struggle to conform to the expectations of royal protocol may have contributed to her eventual departure from royal duties. Meghan's propensity for rule-breaking and her insistence on asserting control may indeed be significant factors contributing to the reported challenges within Archwell Productions. The departure of Levine, a key figure within Archwell Productions, certainly raises concerns about the stability of the company. His role as production manager entailed significant responsibilities, including financial oversight and recruitment, making his loss particularly impactful. Losing such a pivotal figure is undeniably a red flag for the state of affairs at Archwell. Rumors circulating about Netflix's potential reluctance to renew their contract with Harry and Meghan only add to the uncertainty surrounding Archwell's future. Reports suggesting that Netflix may even terminate their contract prematurely further underscore the challenges facing the company. This trend of high-level departures isn't new within Harry and Meghan's enterprise. An article from Marie Claire in 2022 highlighted the departure of two senior officials from Archwell within a mere 48-hour timeframe. Such rapid turnover at the upper echelons of the company is indicative of deeper issues plaguing its operations. It's evident that something isn't right within Harry and Meghan's company. Blaming the departing employees for failing to meet the couple's standards doesn't hold water. Instead, it's crucial to acknowledge that the root of the problem likely lies with Harry and Meghan themselves. This article coincided with the release of their six-part docuseries, Harry and Meghan, on Netflix, making December 2022 a pivotal moment for the couple amidst the backdrop of mounting challenges within their enterprise. Rachel Birchfield's report in Marie Claire sheds further light on the tumultuous atmosphere within Archwell Productions. The departure of Manda Nadiani, the president of their non-profit organization, along with the showrunner for Megan's podcast Archetypes, highlights the ongoing challenges facing the company. Harry and Meghan's statement regarding Diani's departure emphasizes mutual agreement, portraying it as a planned decision. However, the skepticism raised regarding the nature of such mutual decisions is warranted, given recent events such as the reported termination of their deal with Spotify. It's notable how Harry and Meghan consistently portray these departures as amicable and mutually agreed upon. Whether it's their alleged departure from Spotify or the resignations within their own team, they maintain a facade of control and consent. However, there's a lingering sense that behind closed doors, the reality may be quite different. It's conceivable that Meghan's management style contributes to an environment where staff feel compelled to depart, whether due to direct encouragement or an oppressive atmosphere. 
This pattern of turnover and the narrative surrounding departures warrant further scrutiny, as they may provide valuable insights into the inner workings of Archwell Productions and the dynamics within Harry and Meghan's team. Indeed, Meghan's reluctance to acknowledge her dependency on key personnel is palpable. The decision not to replace Mandana Diani upon her departure signifies a significant shift in the dynamics of Archwell Productions. Assuming full leadership roles within their company, Harry and Meghan now bear the responsibility previously distributed among their team members. The statement regarding Diani's departure, emphasizing mutual support and friendship, appears to paint a harmonious picture. However, it's possible that financial constraints played a role in the decision not to hire a replacement. This move could reflect a need to streamline operations and reduce expenses within the company. The cracks within Harry and Meghan's enterprise were already becoming evident in 2022, even prior to the release of their docuseries. While there may have been hopes that the series would catapult them to success in Hollywood, its reception failed to meet expectations. Now, more than a year later, it's clear that the docuseries alone was insufficient to salvage their fortunes. The challenges facing Harry and Meghan in their Hollywood endeavors underscore the complexities of transitioning from royal life to the entertainment industry and the pitfalls that accompany such a transition. The departure of Rebecca Sinanis, the head of Archwell Audio and the producer of Archetypes, in December 2022, underscores the sense of foreboding among insiders within Harry and Meghan's company. Sinanis had been a part of Archwell since July 2021, indicating a relatively short tenure before her departure. While her replacement, Serena Reagan, was brought in as part of a purported growth plan for the Sussex brand, the timing of Sinanis's departure and subsequent revelations about the uncertain future of the Spotify deal raise questions about the true motivations behind her exit. The statement suggesting Sinanis's departure was part of a broader strategy for the brand may have been an attempt to downplay the significance of her resignation. In hindsight, with the Spotify deal officially terminated in June 2023, Sinanis's departure takes on added significance. It's plausible that Sinanis, like others within the company, had insights into the challenges facing Harry and Meghan's ventures in Hollywood. Her decision to leave before the Spotify deal fell apart could be interpreted as a strategic move to safeguard her career prospects. Speculation aside, Sinanis's departure serves as another indication of the internal turmoil within Archwell Productions and the uncertainties surrounding Harry and Meghan's endeavors in the entertainment industry. It highlights the complexities and challenges of navigating the transition from royal duties to Hollywood aspirations. The quote from a highly placed industry source offers valuable insight into Harry and Meghan's predicament regarding their contracts with Netflix and Spotify. It suggests that, despite the allure of lucrative deals with these streaming giants, there may be an underlying desire on their part for these contracts to dissolve. This sentiment raises questions about their ability to deliver on the promises made to these companies and their ultimate prospects for success in the entertainment industry. It appears that Harry and Meghan may have underestimated the challenges of creating compelling content and building a successful production company. Their ambitious foray into Hollywood may have been driven more by their own aspirations and desires rather than a realistic assessment of their capabilities. The decision by Spotify to part ways with Harry and Meghan could indeed be viewed as a relief, alleviating some of the pressure and expectations placed upon them. However, the Netflix deal still looms large, representing a significant commitment and source of potential income. In light of these challenges, Harry and Meghan find themselves in a precarious position, grappling with the realization that their Hollywood dreams may not align with reality. The road ahead may require them to reassess their strategies and goals, as well as to navigate the complexities of their existing contracts while seeking alternative avenues for financial stability and creative fulfillment. The situation Harry and Meghan find themselves in regarding their contracts with Netflix and Spotify does indeed seem like a nightmare. Despite having received significant sums of money, likely in the millions, they may be facing challenges in fulfilling their obligations under these contracts. The pressure from Netflix for content, coupled with the realization that they may not be able to deliver as promised, adds to their predicament. 
if Harry and Meghan are unable to produce the agreed-upon content, there may be legal ramifications, including the possibility of being sued for breach of contract. Accepting payment with the promise of delivering content and then failing to do so could result in legal action from the companies involved. Breach of contract cases are common in business, and the consequences can be significant. The departure of key employees from Archwell Productions further complicates matters for Harry and Meghan. The article in the Express highlighting the departure of five employees within the last 14 months underscores the instability within their company. This ongoing turnover of staff raises concerns about the viability of their operations and their ability to execute their plans effectively. Overall, Harry and Meghan find themselves in a precarious situation, grappling with the pressure to deliver on their contracts, the potential legal consequences of failing to do so, and the challenges posed by the departure of key personnel. It remains to be seen how they will navigate these obstacles and whether they will be able to salvage their Hollywood aspirations amidst mounting difficulties. The departure of five senior employees from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's company, Archwell Productions, within the span of 14 months is indeed significant. These are not minor staff positions but individuals holding key roles within the organization. The turnover of senior employees at such a rapid rate raises serious concerns about the stability and viability of the company's operations. Mandina Diani, who served as the president of Archwell between 2021 and 2022, departed after just 18 months in the role. Her resignation coincided with the release of Harry and Meghan's docuseries, indicating potential turbulence within the company during that period. Similarly, Rebecca Sinanis's departure occurred amidst challenges facing archetypes and uncertainties surrounding the Spotify contract. Her decision to leave, presumably with insights into the company's internal workings and future prospects, underscores the complexities and challenges facing Archwell Productions. The departure of these senior employees is indicative of deeper issues within the company, including potentially ineffective leadership, workplace culture concerns, or strategic missteps. For a company to thrive and make meaningful progress, it typically requires a stable leadership team capable of fostering long-term growth and success. The turnover of senior personnel within Archwell raises questions about the company's ability to achieve its goals and deliver on its promises. It remains to be seen how Harry and Meghan will address these challenges and whether they can stabilize their organization amid ongoing turmoil. The departure of Farah Taylor from her role as head of marketing at Archwell further highlights the ongoing challenges within Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's organization. While the specific reasons for Taylor's departure remain unclear, the pattern of turnover within the company suggests underlying issues that may have contributed to her decision to leave. Harry and Meghan's reported gratitude for Taylor's support upon her departure may mask deeper tensions within the organization. The loss of 16 team members since 2018, despite Archwell being launched in 2020, indicates a high level of turnover within a relatively short time frame. The responsibilities placed upon those handling PR and marketing for Harry and Meghan are undoubtedly immense, given the couple's high profile and the constant media scrutiny they face. Their propensity for generating negative publicity and their perceived unwillingness to take responsibility for their actions could create a challenging environment for PR professionals tasked with managing their public image. It's plausible that the demanding nature of working for Harry and Meghan, coupled with the pressures of managing their public image, contributed to Taylor's departure. The dynamics within the company and the challenges faced by its employees paint a complex picture of the inner workings of Archwell Productions and the difficulties faced by those within the organization. The pattern of employees leaving Archwell in pairs or groups, as observed with the departures of Farrah Taylor and Ben Browning simultaneously, suggests underlying systemic issues within the company. Ben Browning, with his significant credentials as an Oscar-nominated producer, would have been a valuable asset to Archwell. However, his decision to depart, particularly after the release of Spare, indicates dissatisfaction or discomfort with the direction or atmosphere within the organization. While The Telegraph reports that both Browning and Taylor exceeded expectations and were thanked by Harry and Meghan for their contributions to vital look-back projects, 
it's evident that there may have been underlying tensions or challenges within the workplace. The characterization of these projects as vital look-back projects may hint at a disconnect between the perceived importance of the work and the reality experienced by those involved. The departure of Bennett Levine, as previously discussed, further adds to the sense of turmoil within Archwell. The recurring theme of high-level departures and the perceived toxicity of the work culture at Archwell raise significant concerns about the organization's leadership, workplace dynamics, and overall sustainability. It's crucial for Harry and Meghan to address these issues proactively to foster a healthier work environment and retain talent essential for the success of their endeavors. Failure to do so may continue to result in turnover and hinder their ability to achieve their goals effectively. The challenges faced by employees at Archwell Productions appear to extend beyond monetary compensation, indicating broader issues within the organization's working environment and the perception of Harry and Meghan's brand. While competitive salaries may attract talent initially, the sustainability of employment is contingent upon factors such as workplace culture, job satisfaction, and career advancement opportunities. The toxicity surrounding Harry and Meghan's brand, as perceived by both insiders and external observers, undoubtedly impacts the desirability of working for Archwell Productions. Professionals seeking to advance their careers may hesitate to attach themselves to a brand fraught with controversy and perceived failures. In the long term, having Archwell on one's resume may not be viewed as a badge of honor, particularly if the company continues to face setbacks and negative publicity. Furthermore, the inconsistent direction and lack of clear vision from Harry and Meghan regarding their projects with Netflix contribute to the uncertainty surrounding their endeavors. Fluctuating between documentary series and scripted content suggests a lack of strategic focus and a reactive approach to content creation. Without a clear roadmap for success, employees may struggle to execute their roles effectively and contribute to meaningful progress within the organization. Overall, the challenges facing Archwell Productions are multifaceted, encompassing issues related to workplace culture, brand perception, and strategic direction. Addressing these challenges will require proactive leadership, transparent communication, and a concerted effort to rebuild trust and stability within the organization. Failure to do so may result in continued turnover and hinder the company's ability to achieve its objectives. It's clear from your analysis that there are significant challenges facing Harry and Meghan's ventures in the entertainment industry, particularly within Archwell Productions. Their apparent refusal to heed advice from experienced professionals and their lack of self-awareness regarding their role in the turnover of employees may indeed contribute to the difficulties they face. The prospect of them eventually running their ventures alone, without a team of experienced professionals, could lead to further setbacks and potentially hasten their decline in relevance within the industry. Their reputation for being difficult to work with may further deter talented individuals from joining their team exacerbating their isolation within the industry. The discussion surrounding their potential attendance at the Academy Awards reflects the broader disconnect between their perceived standing in Hollywood and the reality of their reputation within the industry. While they may receive invitations to such events, their acceptance and reception among industry insiders remain uncertain, given the challenges they face and the controversies surrounding their brand. Overall, your analysis highlights the complexities and challenges facing Harry and Meghan's foray into Hollywood, underscoring the importance of addressing underlying issues within their organization and reassessing their approach to navigating the entertainment industry. The sentiments expressed by users IQ3MP, Sue Clark, and Joan Cooper echo a prevailing disillusionment and skepticism surrounding Harry and Meghan's endeavors. They critique the perceived shallowness of the couple's publicity efforts, highlighting the disconnect between their self-promotion and their actual accomplishments. The mention of potential investigations into their foundation adds to the atmosphere of scrutiny and suspicion surrounding the couple's activities. The suggestion to send a red carpet to Meghan and Montecito satirically underscores the perceived vanity and self-importance associated with the couple's public appearances and their aspirations within the entertainment industry. Overall, 
These comments reflect a growing sentiment of fatigue and skepticism regarding Harry and Meghan's attempts to maintain relevance and success in the public eye. The comments from Tosca, Search for Facts, Sue Clark, and Sarah Linus reflect a combination of humor, sarcasm, and criticism directed towards Harry and Meghan's public image and fashion choices. Tosca's suggestion of crowdfunding a red carpet for Meghan to prance around on humorously mocks the idea of Meghan's self-importance and desire for glamorous appearances. Sue Clark's endorsement of the idea and offer to contribute funds further emphasizes the satirical nature of the proposal. Sarah Linus's comment adds to the humor by imagining Meghan wearing a disaster of an outfit, potentially sourced from goodwill but transformed into a high-priced item by a designer. The mention of the garbage bag dress at a Jamaican movie premiere alludes to past fashion blunders by Meghan, further emphasizing the perceived disconnect between her attempts at luxury and her actual fashion choices. Overall, these comments highlight the ongoing fascination and critique surrounding Harry and Meghan's public personas and their choices in fashion and self-presentation. The comment from AB London SW humorously speculates on the potential scenario if Harry and Meghan were to attend the Academy Awards, envisioning a situation where hosts may need to rewrite their jokes to avoid offending the couple or cameras could focus on their reactions to jokes made at their expense. The suggestion prompts laughter and agreement from other users, highlighting the amusement and entertainment value in imagining such a scenario. Sue Clark's comment adds to the humor by satirizing the idea of Harry and Meghan attending the Oscars, portraying them as eager commoners vying for a spot behind the barricades to catch a glimpse of A-list celebrities. The comment reflects a light-hearted skepticism about the couple's chances of attending such high-profile events and their perceived status within Hollywood. Overall, these comments reflect a blend of amusement, skepticism, and satire regarding the notion of Harry and Meghan attending prestigious events like the Academy Awards, underscoring the ongoing fascination and speculation surrounding the couple's public appearances and reception within the entertainment industry. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.